here I have taken one example in which a block of weight W is kept on a horizontal plane and is applied by a force P which is just sufficient to move this block towards right direction. In that particular case, friction force will be maximum and you, if you draw a free body diagram of this block, you will get one normal reaction and weight W vertical downward direction, force P towards right direction and friction force which will be the maximum friction force equal to mu N2 and normal reaction into mu where mu is the coefficient of friction between these two surfaces. Now remember that this normal reaction and this friction force, these two forces are always normal to each other. In many situations, it is better to replace this normal reaction and friction force by a single force R which is making an angle of phi from normal reaction. So this R is the resultant of normal reaction and friction force. So if it is a, if it is a resultant of these two forces, so we, uh, we can say that component of uh, component of R along horizontal direction will be mu n and component of component of R along this vertical direction will be n. So this component, this vertical component will be R cos phi and R's horizontal component will be R sin phi. So that means R sin phi sin phi is equal to mu into n and r cos phi is equal to n. If you divide these two equations, you will get tan phi is equal to mu n divided by n. So n will get, get cancelled. So answer will be mu. That means mu phi is equal to tan inverse mu. Now this phi value of phi, phi is the angle of resultant from normal reaction. Now you can see that phi is equal to tan inverse mu and mu is a constant value that is the coefficient of friction, friction between these two surfaces and therefore value of phi is also a constant. Therefore uh, resultant of two forces that is normal reaction and friction force always makes a fixed angle from normal reaction and that angle is obtained using this relation that is phi is equal to tan inverse mu. So you can replace this n and mu n by a single force r which is making an angle phi from direction n. Now second is angle of repose. Suppose the same block, a block it, it is prepped on a horizontal plane, its weight is w. Now if I fix this plane at this particular position, this end is fixed and if I rotate this end or I, if I lift this end, so after lifting this end to some angle, this block will start to slide downwards because of its own weight. The angle at which this block just start to move downward, that particular angle is called angle of repose. That means this is the, uh, this is the, uh, this is the uh, plane, uh, when I lifted this plane, after uh, tilting this plane by an angle of theta, this block is just about to slide downward direction. So this angle theta is called angle of repose. Now how can you calculate angle of repose? Now you can draw free body diagram of this block. This block is having one normal reaction and weight vertical downward direction. Now if this plane is, uh, plane is at an angle theta, then its weight which is vertical uh, will make angle from normal direction. Per this line is perpendicular to this surface and therefore this angle will also be theta. Now uh, other forces are, other forces, friction force which is equal to maximum friction force that is equal to limiting friction which is equal to mu into n. Mu is the coefficient of friction between this, uh, uh, this block and this surface and n is the normal reaction. Now you can resolve this W into two components one component is along the direction of this surface, along the direction of this plane and another component is perpendicular to this plane. So once you resolve this W into two components, these two components, now you can remove this W. So let's remove this W. Now total forces acting in this block are this W sin theta, W cos theta, normal reaction n and mu n. Now you can take to x and y direction, you can take this direction as positive x direction and this direction as positive y direction. Now you can apply equations of equilibrium according to which summation fx is equal to zero. That means all the forces along the x direction must be zero. 
so in x direction one is mu into n in this direction x direction mu n and opposite to that this is w sin theta which is opposite to the direction of uh, positive x direction so minus w sin theta is equal to 0 accordingly you are getting w sin theta is equal to mu n similarly you can apply summation f y is equal to 0 uh, from which you are getting w cos theta is equal to n that is n minus w cos theta is equal to 0 uh, from that you will get n is equal to w cos theta now from these two equations w sin theta is equal to mu n w cos theta is equal to n you can see that tan theta is equal to mu that is divide this equation by this equation you will get tan theta is equal to mu so theta is equal to tan inverse mu again you are getting this angle of repose same as angle of uh, friction that is friction angle so these two are numerically always same so now you can see that um, this angle of repose depends only on the value of mu that means if you increase the weight of this block if this block is of uh, uh, w kg now if you increase the weight or decrease the weight there will be no change if uh, unless otherwise these two materials are different if these two materials are same that means if the coefficient of friction between these two surfaces are same then uh, weight of this block does not affect on this angle of repose that means always uh, it will start to slide down at the same angle theta which is called angle of repose and this angle of repose and angle of friction both are numerically equal and this can be calculated using these two formulas thank you for watching this video